What's up, party people? It's your boy Optimus Code. Welcome to the channel. Okay, so today we're going to go over Hertz, refresh rates, variable refresh rates, and frames per second. And if you pay attention during this video, when you get to the end, there'll be a quiz, of course, and you should be able to pass the quiz and you should have a better understanding of how frame rates and Hertz and variable refresh rates all work together. So before we get started, I want to say that we are still feeling the love. We are feeling all the support that y'all have been giving us to the channel. We appreciate it. But again, I want to clarify, I can't stress this enough. I don't want you liking and subscribing and sharing because of me. I want you to only like, share and subscribe if you find the content useful. If the free education is helping you and you think others will benefit from it as well, then go ahead like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. If you don't think that, and if you're just here showing me support, I appreciate that, but it is not necessary. Only show love to the channel if you are benefiting from the content. Now, that being said, I created a video before this. Um, here, I'll put it on the screen, the first law of computer graphics. You really need to watch that video first in order to keep up with this one. Now, you can probably still follow along with this video even if you don't watch that one, but I'm not gonna reintroduce terms and concepts that were already covered there. All right, using this Apple Pencil and this iPad, I'm going to attempt to illustrate the difference between Hertz, refresh rates, frames per second, and how variable refresh rates affect the whole thing and make it all better. So you got a monitor, you got an image, you got a source, you got a signal. The source is sending an image to the display over this signal. This display never knows what the image is that it is receiving, so it just has to constantly refresh this image that it is receiving from this signal, and it has to do it over and over and over. The reason that it has to do it over and over and over is because this image can move. And if the image moved and the display did not refresh what the image looks like now, you would only ever see that original image and you would not be able to see the image move. So the display has to constantly refresh this image over and over and over. The amount of times that the display updates its image, and it doesn't matter what the image is, just whatever is coming over this signal, this display, any display, is going to constantly update what it is getting from this signal on its screen. Another way to say that is the display is going to constantly refresh what is being sent to it through this signal. The amount of times that it does that is called Hertz. Oh, I'm sorry, the amount of times per second that it does that is called Hertz. The higher this number is, the smoother the movement is on your display. All right, so remember the display deals with Hertz and the Hertz represents the amount of times that your display will refresh the image that is being sent to it over this signal, whatever the signal is. So the refresh rate has to do with these two things. I have a signal, I have an image that's being sent to me from the signal and how many times will I refresh myself to update what is being sent on the signal. And every time we say update or refresh, it is always per second every time it's always per second how many times will this monitor refresh itself per second and again that's measured in hertz can't be any more clear about that the refresh rate of the monitor is measured in hertz okay so over here on your source let's just say you have a game and that game has an engine and that game engine is going to produce graphics so what happens here is this engine is going to generate a scene and let's just say in this scene you got a dude and the dude is going to fight a monster so that's a monster so the dude is going to shoot the monster the whole process of this hero killing this monster happens over a set of frames that's what these are the more frames you have the smoother the animation so fps which equals frames per second higher fps equals higher smoothness. The higher the frames per second, the smoother the animation. But that's coming from here. That's on this side. It has nothing to do with this side. It's over here. If this source 
this graphics engine on this device can let's just say do 60 frames per second that will be smoother animation than that same game engine doing 30 frames per second so we measure the speed at which the engine can draw a frame of a scene is in fps so 30 fps is definitely slower than 60 fps which is also slower than 120 fps the higher your frame rate, the smoother the animation. If you want smoother animations, you're gonna need higher frame rate. This right here, typically the sweet spot, especially going from this to this, there is a drastic jump, like going from a, a previous gen console to a next gen console in the olden days where you would notice that significant jump. And then after that, you didn't notice as much with each iteration. The jump from 30 to 60 is that sweet spot. And so a lot of people want to focus here. But again, you get smoother stuff, greater reaction time and all of that uh, with the higher frame rates. But 60 is definitely the sweet spot for interactive video games. All right, so that's the engine, right? So we have a game engine that is producing, let's say 60 frames per second, and we have a display that's gonna refresh or update the image that has been sent to it over the signal. This is very important. All right, so after now that that's cleared out, what happens when the game is sending 60 frames per second, but the monitor can still only refresh at 30 hertz? So this now is gonna send data faster than its monitor can draw it. So what happens, even though this is sending at 60 frames per second if you do not have a monitor that can refresh the image at 60 frames per second you're still going to get a 30 hertz update because your monitor could not take advantage of the 60 frames that's being sent let's do it the other way let's say you have a game that is sending 30 hertz but you do have a monitor that can receive at 60 hertz. Well, what's gonna happen in this case? Well, this is gonna send at 30, but this monitor is still going to refresh that image twice as fast as it's being sent. And in this case, you still get a 60 hertz refresh, but part of those refreshes will show the same image. So the net effect is you still just get a 30 fps gain even though the image is being refreshed faster you're still only getting 30 frames so you'll end up basically being capped at this 30 frame although it will look like a little bit smoother over here because it is updating so quickly okay so again to recap we've got our source we've got our display and we've got our signal these all play a role in how this whole thing works out and over here you'll notice we have a scene from a video game and this particular scene has four frames frame one we have a hero he's encountering some monster in frame two the hero is throwing something at the monster in frame three the hero is jumping over the monster as the monster tries to attack and then here in frame four the hero is zapping the monster with some sort of lightning bolt type thing. And what's important to keep in mind for this particular illustration is that scene one is the blue frame, scene two is the green frame, scene three is this orange frame, and scene four is the purple frame. So the source sends the blue frame, the monitor starts drawing the blue frame. And it's gonna keep refreshing that blue frame over and over, 30 times in a second in this case. So if it's drawing and it's refreshing and say it's here, so it's here, and then the green frame gets sent over. What actually happens in this case is the display starts from where it is and it's gonna start drawing the green scene here. And this is what we call screen tearing. Screen tearing happens when the refresh rate of the display is not in sync with the source and you end up with part of the image from one frame and part of the image of another frame in the same refresh cycle. As you can see in this image here, we have two images displayed in one refresh cycle. The monitor was going about its business refreshing the image it got to here. A new image was sent across the signal from the source. And so the monitor then immediately started drawing that new image that was sent to it. It is out of sync. This top portion was the previous image that it was happening in the current refresh cycle. And then this rest of this is the new image that was sent across during the same refresh cycle. 
and I'm trying to make sure that I explain this clearly because what happens, remember, this monitor is going to do its refresh updates on its own frequency here at 30 hertz. The source is going to send frames also at 30 frames per second. So the monitor is going to refresh itself at 30 hertz and the source is going to send frames 30 per second and it's going to refresh itself 30 per second. The problem is that they don't sync up. So the start so when this starts is not the same as when this starts. So even though they're both 30 in one second, the monitor, the drawing could be here in its refresh cycle when it gets the signal from the source to start displaying the next frame. So because the monitor has its own start and end, so it starts at the top and it goes to the bottom and it ends, and it's gonna repeat this over and over. The problem is when this starts, when the monitor starts and ends is not necessarily the same as when the computer or the source starts and ends. So this computer could start sending frames in the middle of this refresh cycle, or it can start sending a frame at the end of the refresh cycle. It just depends because they're not synced up. The refresh rate of the monitor is moving on its own cycle. The computer or the source is sending images on its own cycle. And these two cycles are not always in alignment. And that's what variable refresh rate does. That's what this is, the VRR. VRR tells the display, hey, instead of you operating at your own frequency here, we don't want this. What we want you to do is sync up so that you and the source both start and stop at the same time. So we want the end of your refresh cycle here to also be the end of the frame here. So you start at the same time and you end at the same time, both of these together. That's what VRR is and it is a variable refresh rate, and that's why it's important. So in this example, with VRR enabled, the monitor starts its refresh thing, but the refresh cycle here, this refresh cycle for this monitor is synced with the source. So when the source sends the blue, the monitor displays the blue. If the source sends the green, the monitor, we already know in the previous example, the monitor was here when the green signal came in, but that can't happen anymore if they're synced because the monitor will receive receive the green signal when it's here, ready to start its next refresh cycle. So the, the source will send signals to the display and the display will refresh in sync with the signals that's being sent to it. Now this is important. Again, here, let me, let me try to illustrate this. If the monitor is receiving a blue signal, the monitor starts drawing the blue. Then the monitor receives the green, then it's gonna start drawing the green. The monitor receives the orange, it's gonna start drawing the orange. It will not start drawing things in the middle and you will no longer receive part here and part here. That's going away. What happens now is you get all one frame, one image at the same time. And another important aspect of this is because it is variable, so let's just say that over here well, let me clean this up a little bit so let's just say that over here let's say your 30 fps gain dropped a frame and it only sent 28 frames in a particular second well what happens over here instead of updating at 30 hertz is only going to update at 28 hertz so it's going to refresh 28 times to match these 28 frames so that skip that you would normally see over here in the display is not going to really happen anymore because the monitor is only going to refresh itself at the same time that it is receiving frames so if it goes down to 25 frames it's also going to go down to 25 refresh cycles in a second if it goes up to 31 it's going to go up to 31 the whole point of vrr is the refresh rate of the monitor is in sync with the signal from the source and that keeps everything looking smooth and you no longer get screen tearing because it now it is no longer possible to have part of one image and then another part of another image everything is nice and smooth that is the benefit of VRR. Okay, time for the quiz.
that's it time's up quiz over pencils down how did y'all do hopefully you were able to pay attention during the video and things are explained well enough where you now understand the difference between these concepts and you can go out now and you can have intelligent conversations about it and you won't be confused when you see other people conversing about it in front of you or in your presence if you enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like if you enjoy all of the content at the channel and these knowledge drops are useful to you go ahead and subscribe we appreciate it and we'll see y'all next time peace